I have 1,000 hours in Geometry Dash, and I am still kind of trash at it, but that's okay, because 2.2 just came out, and it's pretty epic. I feel like uh, my, my weakness, though, is that because it just takes so long for me to make 100 days of videos, my ability to learn is actually, actually slower. I'm, I'm not going to get into much detail, but like he's been my YouTube sense. I'm not going to make any promise, okay? <laughs> it's all kind of up in the air, but there is a possibility, maybe, just maybe, that we could see a 100 days season two. There is a way that you can reliably predict if a video will blow up. So I was in VC killing bad boy Halo a ton of times and it was so <laughs> funny and it got to the point where he was like, he called me a pumpkin muffin at one point and that like, that was like, oh my God, I've won it like. What a fantastic podcast. I completely agree with it. All right, lads, welcome back to Inside MC, the part of the podcast where I sit down with a very special guest every single week. And this week, I'm joined by an absolute algorithm nerd, somebody who is a fantastic guest, and I completely agree with this. I'm joined with Goatsmell. Yo, what's good? The pumpkin man is here. The pumpkin stormtrooper. How, how are you doing? The <laughs> I'm good. I'm doing good, man. First got time? I my, my Best... coffee. Are you you ate your coffee. I, I ate my coffee. Well, I, I, don't, I don't ate it. I got it right here, right next. Okay. Anyway, first time, first goal on <laughs> my podcast. This is a historic moment. This is, this it's, it's crazy. That's what, that's what I love about Inside MT. I pre I'm pretty sure like everybody I bring on the podcast, not everybody, but the majority of guests I bring on a podcast have never been on one before. I'm just like, oh my god, like this is sick. I didn't realize I'm, I'm getting this many like or a in quotation marks original like podcast guests. I guess you could say. Yo. And now I'm joined yeah. with the one and only Gomel. You just woke up. It's pretty early for you. We are recording on an odd day at an odd time. Normally, Inside MCs are recorded on Mondays at 7 p.m. and Midweek MCs are recorded on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Uh, we are currently recording on a Friday. This podcast is coming out in exactly two weeks. I think this is the earliest I've ever recorded a podcast for it to come out Let's go. so late, if that makes sense. I mean, I've recorded a podcast at 10 a.m. in the morning on a weekend, but I mean, on a Friday, first time. So we're making history of that as well. Dude, uh, this, this, is hit, this is epic. That's the only word for it bro you just call me bro <laughs> bro you're my bro yeah Orb. yeah man my my go goal bro bro mail <laughs> there we go bro yo that's an, uh, it's gonna catch on so quickly if you if you if you if oh, you're hearing great. this and you're listening on youtube or if you're listening on spotify go over to youtube and comment bro mel yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah is that how i, I grow in the algorithm every... is that is that how the <laughs> algorithm <laughs> works <Gom? laughs> yeah i can't wait for everyone in sabaka's chat to now just repeat that what bro mel god bro mel bro mel bro mel bro mel bro mel, bro mel. And what a fantastic name i completely agree with this before i get into asking questions then bro mel i always like to give the yeah. intro for you the guest to kind of introduce yourself yourself I mean, i've called you a lot of names and i've uh, called you a lot of good names i should specify oh my god that sounds so bad and uh, you know i've bigged <laughs> you up at the start of this podcast however who are you what do you do maybe a fun fact anything fun anything facts. you can say well uh i hi i'm golemel uh i make minecraft videos so that's already very original and i'm in the 100 days genre and uh i make content occasionally a fun fact about me is that I have 1,000 hours in Geometry Dash, and I am still kind of trash at it, but that's okay, because 2.2 just came out, and it's pretty epic. Wait, you actually have 1,000 hours in Geometry Dash? That's not a joke. Oh my, and yeah, what, what are your thoughts on 2.2? I don't really play Geometry Dash myself, <laughs> because I just I just couldn't be bothered. I couldn't be bothered to keep playing uh, it. So what, what are your thoughts on a new new game, or new update, I guess you could say, sorry. Uh, it's pretty cool, like, like platformer mode uh to everything and they also like messed with the physics or something so that's what i that's what i don't like about it is like my my favorite style in geometry dash is like the 1.9 which is kind of the older style of levels i, I mean i there are some there are some new levels that i like but mostly like my favorite building style is like these old like levels like cataclysm windy lands geometry dash nerds know what i'm talking about anyway they basically <laughs> messed with the physics of the game so it's like for some reason slopes don't work as well right now so it's impossible to get past like three percent on which is oh. really funny but, like all these older levels don't work but it's a cool update like they they i i like the uh the platformer a really but... cool update that broke the game essentially <laughs> pretty much Fair enough. rob top we need you again we need you we need to wait 10 more years for another update come on on the spot right now i'm gonna give you the option we either turn us back into a minecraft podcast or we go full send minecraft. on geometry dash Crap. no geometry dash podcast maybe another day maybe no another geometry day come on. Dash. all right <laughs> well insane orbits sorry 
<laughs> uh, no, I was, I was gonna say, dude, Inside Geometry Dash. Oh my That's god. That's your new podcast. Well, it'd be in, dude. Inside GD, technically. Inside GD, dude. Should I just make one for every game? Inside MW, for the Warfare. Uh, <laughs> inside inside Terraria. <laughs> inside T. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it'd work for the Britishness, really, wouldn't it? Inside T. Uh, <laughs> no, Alright, anyways. Come on, this is gonna be a great podcast. Huh? Dude, I'm sorry. I don't get these references because I'm, I'm a proud American, but it's okay. You don't know what T is. I don't know what, what? You don't know what oh. T is. Oh, T! Oh, that's what you mean! Yeah. Oh, British like the drink. Drink tea. I was... Yeah, the stereotypical oh. joke. Go on, well. I was like, I was picturing the letter for some reason. Yeah, because I did say inside the letter T, but for Terraria, the letter Dude. T, but then T sounds like T, which is what British people drink is tea. I get it. You When's get it. inside coffee coming then? <laughs> inside, I mean, we can make an inside. I mean, I didn't AMZ already do a podcast like that to be fair though they made like <laughs> like what was it called like it wasn't called coffee cast but like there's a podcast where they uh yeah anyways oh, <laughs> i love anyway. these kind of podcasts this is why i always like to bring on like creators who i've interacted with a lot before. i mean i could could i call us friends could we could we say yes, friends we are best friendos are we actually best of friendo oh thank you i'm gonna cry i'm gonna cry on a podcast anyways wow <laughs> uh i always like these podcasts where like i bring on like content creator friends who i've interacted with before uh can i can i tell them can i tell them the fun fact of what happened last time we voice called Gomo? Uh, was it when I was editing? It was at I like think it was. 12 yeah. o'clock GMT. Can I can I tell them what happened? <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. The, the last time I was on a call with Gomo, uh, I ended up getting very very ill with food poisoning and I've had it like twice or three times and that was the worst I've ever had it. And it was, I was just sitting there watching Gomo I was editing the podcast, it was a little while back, uh, when NPCs were still a thing actually. <laughs> and uh, that was our last ever time we voice called. But Gomo and I have interacted a good amount on Twitter and free chats and stuff and it's like as i was trying to get out with this kind of podcast where i bring on somebody who i've interacted with before we can be like a little bit goofy and it's nice to have these weeks as well because as much as i love bringing on guests i haven't interacted with it's great with like someone like yourself who i've talked to before i can be a little bit more laid back i guess i don't have to try and keep it so i mean i don't really keep it professional anyways but you get the idea i'm trying to get at you know so. yeah with that being said then go Mel, let's get into the main chunk of the podcast here all right so we're gonna start off nice and easy. I was I I used to follow a past, present, future format, and then I ended up just throwing the format out the window. However, we are gonna roughly follow that today, and I do try to keep kind I love of Windows. to it. You love Windows. What is your favorite Windows version? Uh, not eleven. I don't like eleven. It was it was too annoying. I like ten. Mine are personally the ones with four squares that I drew in in school. Big nice fan. Big fan of those Windows. All Windows. I know. This is man. This is inspirational talking to you right now. I'm really <laughs> uh, why the name Gomel? What is what is the idea oh. behind that? As far as I'm aware, you've been in you were in MCC Rising One, which was in 2021. Your channel was created in okay, you no longer see it. I'll view channel stats. Oh it wait, was, no, why can't you see this? It was anymore? in uh, May of 2020. Oh, 20, I was gonna say 2020, but I was scared I was gonna be wrong. So you started your content creation journey in 2020. So why why did you think to come up with the name Gomel? It's a great name. So, I mean, it works. It's I completely agree with that, but. What What's, what's, what's the deal with it? So basically, uh, my old username uh, was really, it was any variation of Iron Warrior because uh, when I first made it, I was like, dude, iron is like the best crafting material. Use it in like the most crafting iron. And then Warrior because I like PvP. Now, I wasn't like very in the, um, what, how, do, how do I want to put this? Like the, the Minecraft servers. I wasn't playing on Mineplex like when I made this or anything. Oh, so you I did, yeah, I just like you. playing. I was kind of just like playing with my friends and I liked PvP. So it was yeah. like Iron and Warrior, right? Boom, the perfect name. But it, when I went to YouTube, it was like, okay, I like this name, but it's just kind of generic. Like even when I first made it, like everyone had some, it was a really common name around. It's like, okay, you know what? I got to have my own brand, you know? I got to have my own, my, own, my own thing, right? So the, basically my, my old Minecraft skin, like imagine my skin now, but remove the vines, make it like a Steve player model and replace the pump pumpkin head with an iron golem head and i'd always liked golems right so i thought it would be cool to kind of make that into a name golem was do you cool. like marshmallows do i like marshmallows they're all right mm. in my book yeah see i'm not a big fan of marshmallows they made me really fast too which is the issue 
And then every time I think of gold medal, you know, marshmallow. How come you didn't go like gold mellow? Wait, I didn't even think of that. What? <laughs> wait, that's a good. Wait. Wait, 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 Dude. wait. What part? I've said like three Dude. things just then. <laughs> Dude, it's like gold mellow. Wait, that's actually that's fire, dude. Well, gold mellow. Dude, that's like that's like the perfect alt channel name. There we go. You Dude, you need to make I should it. Start a channel right now. Dude. Do it. Go mellow. Yeah, I don't know. I I kind of I kind of wanted to uh, make it sound like a name. I didn't. <laughs> Do you actually like it? Do you actually like the name that I just suggested? Kind of. I'm kind of memeing, but it's, oh. it's all right. Well, you got me really happy then. It sounded like you've been serious. I was like, oh, that was actually really exciting. Because <laughs> on because on the podcast that's come out uh, two weeks before this, the Kel Awesome one, uh, we came up with the name Kel Awesome. They made it before the podcast came out. So Kel Awesome. That's actually really good. That was Kel, like that actually Kel's Gold idea. Mellow. Kel was one he came out on. <laughs> my my Twitch show is Insane or Bolt. So, <laughs> you know. Oh, right. What about the whole... See, like, you guys, you oh, guys yeah. can make puns with your names. I'm like... Like, like, what do I do? Go, Melo. I could go, I could have, go. <laughs> do I've just that. done it. <laughs> I guess I'll do that. All right. All right. Don't hate the player, hate the game. That kind of idea, you know? Not that I really know the context <laughs> of what I'm using that here, but you know, it works. It works in its own sense. Somewhere around the world. All right, man. So what about, like, I know, I know you kind of touched on it there, but say, I just, yeah. Why, why, you look like a pumpkin stormtrooper. Was that, what's, what's the mm. idea with that? I know you kind of touched on the whole liking, like, iron golems. And I guess in telling in this case, it'd be a snow golem. But. Yeah. So basically. Basically, I it, in order to go through that, I have to first explain why my the whole pumpkin aesthetic thing. For yeah, me. go ahead. Um, because that that kind of that kind of warrants own. So that came first, so, did it? Yeah, the idea. The no, idea it came, came after. Oh, okay, all right, go well, ahead. it kind of it, it came it came after Iron War. Okay. So when I was first starting my channel, my original skin was like some snow golem skin that I found on like Name MC or so. I don't really even remember the web. Maybe it was Name, but I was like, dude, I'm gonna go from an Iron Golem to a snow golem, and then I realized later. At 200 subscribers that was kind of dumb and the skin that i was using kind of sucked and it was also <laughs> generic right so yeah. i was like okay i got this whole pumpkin aesthetic that i use in all of my thumbnails right this is where i, I work with neb right and i was like okay I'll have the pumpkin head thing go, but I'll combine it with like old skin and I'll put like vines to symbolize that it's old and I have like this pumpkin cape. It'll be up, right? So I paid some guy on Fiverr to make my skin and that's how my current skin. Oh, and you just stuck with it ever since. Has it, has it gone through any changes? Pretty much. Oh no. Oh wait, the stormtrooper thing. Yeah, wait, the stormtrooper part. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I think when I was getting my Iron Warriors, I think that was literally just a skin that I stole from someone else. And I don't remember where I got I think it was like some old app that I used to use like on my Kindle back in the day I don't I, I don't remember the name of the app or like who made the original skin that would be interesting to look into but I just I just stole it and I was like damn that's that's mine now <laughs> and it's just become your entire kind of idea <laughs> pretty much cool. yeah because my skin just recently went for a for a, a change as well so, mm. so uh, it, uh, my original skin was like just my old logo logo slapped on a skin and then I stole a uh, stole a costume and like a outfit of it off nova skin then in 2021 i commissioned someone to make uh, a skin based on my new profile picture which is my profile picture was with like the planet logo my original one on a blindfold on a person but then i that's how like the insane orbit skin came to me and then recently maybe about like four five weeks ago now from when this podcast is coming out maybe even longer actually i uh, commissioned mask ec and a few other skin artists for a project that i'm working hopefully gonna come out well this podcast is coming out next year it is however uh this i guess technically before the end of this month for the listener uh hopefully it'll happen i don't know if it will if it doesn't happen this month it won't happen and then the, the one the mask he made with like the suit and stuff i just got i just fell in love with it so now it's just my main skin it's just me wearing a suit rather than me wearing like body armor kind of thing so pretty cool professional i like it, it makes it look all fancy like i'm actually sitting on a podcast or interviewing someone you know it's yeah. fancy schmancy i guess you could say <laughs> so then following that then your channel has undergone a few changes throughout the years mm. and it's slowly slowly improved i guess you could say i mean the viewership kind of proves that is you started off with kind of you know where you made a minecraft hive montage back in the day you started <laughs> off with very interesting thumbnails and then through the years you kind of just change your content and so eventually you started getting like rendered thumbnails and you're doing like bed mm -hmm. wars high pixel that kind of content idea and then this year on even last year maybe yeah one year ago so technically last year you moved into mm -hmm. 100 days content in mid 2022 you jumped from an average of 20 of 1k views video to well over 
over 50,000 views a video. I mean, first one was I survived 100 days as a tree. That got 554k views. Uh, 100 days as a demon, 66k views. Pirate, 103. You get the idea, right? I mean, your most viewed video yep. to this day is I survived 100 days as a ninja, 803k views. So what exactly, ninja. you know, kind of touching on your algorithm nerd side here, not many people know about. What inspired this change of content? Why did you go from doing what you were doing to this hard switch to the new style of content? Oh, I have. Oh, I, I want to get into this. This is interesting. Go ahead. It's your so, podcast. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. So um, basically throughout my entire YouTube journey, uh, not not anymore, but um, even like even before I started, I was working kind of on and off um, basically as a paid intern for a guy named Joplin. And uh, basically, I mean, I, I don't think I can get like too specific into what I was doing, um, but basically yeah, you don't I have was to. just like, yeah, I, I'll, I'll just give like a vague, like I was, I was helping with videos and I was even like manager of like a couple channels that he was doing. So that was pretty cool. Basically, I was just like the guy he would call whenever he would need help with something. And so one day Gar Garrett messages me on Telegram. He's like, hey man, Telegram, uh, geez, you're I'm starting old, up. You are old. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's for some reason, like every YouTuber uses Telegram. Like I see Skeppy like in his videos using it. And it's like, it's, it's, I, I see kind of why you'd use that instead of anyway, getting, getting sidetracked. Sorry, and my bad. <laughs> so I get, I get, I get message from Garrett. Um, and he's like, hey man, I'm going to start up this 100 days channel and I need people to help record it basically. And so I was like, hey, all right, that sounds pretty cool. I got, I got free time. So, uh, I go on and I help him record and that was pretty cool. And during this time I was in, I was still doing like the beating Minecraft, but there's a twist, like those kinds of videos. And it just hit me like, while I was in a call one day, I was like, hey, I'm kind of out of ideas. What if I just try making a 100 days, right? So fast forward to when I post 100 days as a tree, my first video got more views than Garrett's first two videos. Oh, which is insane. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> do you have, do, quickly before you carry on, I'm just going to ask questions yeah. in here before I forget them. Looking back on it now, do you, uh, unless you were going to get to this, if you're going to get to this, you can just carry on. It, do you know the reason why that was the case? Mm, mm. Kind of, kind of not. It's all about like kind of giving the audience what they want in in, in that sense. And I I feel like I I did that better in free than I did in some of my other videos. Like like I mean I I could I could get into I I will get into like some of this more. But like some of my 100 days videos have been like kind of rushed, and I'll explain why that is. Like for example, 100 days as ghost, where like I could have like okay I, I'm kind of rambling, but basically my it's 100 your podcast. Days ghost you don't video, need to worry about rambling. I know. I, 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 I have ADHD. I need to I need to. Right, it, it's fine this. just talk anyway. away i'm more than happy okay. to hear it okay <laughs> okay okay anyway <laughs> so 100 days as a ghost D basically the main villain of 100 days as a ghost has the ability to see into the future like that's his main gimmick and i try to have like a some sort of a quirk or a gimmick with every character and i feel like i could have built on that so much better than i did in the actual video yeah and that that makes me like want to go back go, like like edit it again but like anyway why not just, just remake it's the just video feeding again? into the why not just remake the idea nah, i'd rather not i'd rather just like work i guess you're your um, own worst cr like critic it's like with the podcast i can always because me editing it uh, sometimes i look back on it and i'll cut out some things that i say or like starters i'm just like i you know the viewer listening to it wouldn't really wouldn't really pay too much attention to it but i know because it's my content it's because of me saying it, it's like that is not as good as i want it to be because that ghost video well, how many views did it get uh a thousand something like that oh so it didn't do amazing it for views either good. then yeah okay fair enough yeah Sa same with demon i mean D 100 days of the demon like it, it initially did have uh like six, 63k views I, I forgot like the the number you said but i think that video is carried by its thumbnail because to this day it's like one of my highest click-through rate videos it's i think it has like 10 percent still Jeez, which is, like, okay. really as good. a demon has 66k <laughs> views yeah yeah but the thing is that the retention is only like six so it's like not very high yeah see i mean i guess that's the same with the podcast though like the retention and i'm always uh, happy to kind of talk about like how the podcast goes the retentions are, aren't always amazing like on a one hour long mm -hmm. podcast uh avd is normally about 10 or 15 minutes i think the optimal i, I have a graph somewhere but like <laughs> for i mean and, and then again like i don't i don't know that much in terms of podcasts but the number that i hear going around for like hour long videos is somewhere the top 10 percent of videos have a 50 percent for an hour long whereas like like most other videos have like maybe a 30% retention. I'll have to, I'd have to check, but that's like for like highly produced like videos. Again, like, I don't know how it's like for podcasts. It's like a whole different brand, but 
data is interesting. And then kind of fit on the idea of, sorry to cut you off previously with the question, but the whole idea of like the hard, the 100 days content. So you made your first one and then obviously that did, did really, really well straight away going from averaging mm -hmm. about 2k, 1k views to all of a sudden 500,000, <laughs> where, uh, what I guess that was a, a motivation in itself to carry on doing it. But did you, did you, so, cause sometimes yeah. people make a video and they think they know what they did right, but they're not sure. Was this a case of you 100% yes. knew what you did right? Or were it, you not sure? I had no, I had no idea what I did. I like, honestly, I, I really just took what I learned from Garrett and applied it to my own. And a hundred days as a demon, that was like, I kind of had this, how can I put it? It's like, I kind of had this idea of how I wanted to edit videos, like back when I was like making a hundred days content. But like, it's, it's the more that I made them, the more that I realized like, okay, like this is cool, but it's might not be what the audience wants. And I feel like demon really suffered from that because demon has like basically no music in it. Okay. Whereas like a hundred days is a tree has like a lot, a lot more music. And I mean, music is just one factor of it, obviously, but it's like, I feel like that in and of itself made a really big contrary, like how the reform, because there's like a huge dip, like within like the first minute or so, I think it's like 40% of people click off on demon in like the first minute was like, that, that, that's been my whole like strategy was like, how can I bring up that first minute? And I feel like skeleton, I did it really well. If you compare the retention of skeleton and ninja, they both have a 75% retention at 30 seconds, I think. I, I don't know, but anyway, I really kind of hearted in 100 Days as a Skeleton to really just, okay, do whatever will make the best video, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll edit whatever the audience wants, uh, yada, yada, yada. And the retention is better. So that got my, my, my head thinking, okay, if I just make the video better or like on par with something else that like, like other channel would make, then I'll, it'll get better. Yeah. It'll get better. And like the views kind of showed that. It's always fun when you learn as you go, right? But sometimes a bit sad when for instance i look at some of the older podcasts from the start of the year and i don't really know what i could have really changed about them per se there's more of just a thing of like knowing what i know i know i guess actually knowing what i know now within promotion wise of how i'm promoting a podcast now i wish i had that kind of knowledge you know a six mm. seven months ago but like older podcasts yeah. but i just because for instance when i made when the podcast made a return i wasn't even doing like pre-highlight clips so i couldn't be bothered and then this spark out of nowhere just came and i started doing like that and i was constantly learning 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 how to better promote the podcast on twitter and even now with the last mm -hmm. two guest announcements i've started putting links of this is where you can listen but i never did that before and it's like it's, it's annoying looking back on some missed opportunities from things i just never thought of doing up until now yeah but it's always fun to learn it's always fun to grow yeah i feel like uh my, my weakness though is that because it just takes so long for me to make 100 days of videos my ability to learn is actually actually slower because like the it just takes longer to implement the change i can imagine so i've always yeah. had to like i've always had to be like super analytical about like all of my videos like I've, i think that i even have like a list somewhere of like okay why would people click off uh what kept people interested in the video that's sort of and then you became a bit of a to think about what about like as of recently uh, one thing that we, we were talking about before the podcast and we said we wanted to talk about was the kind of hiatus that you've been on you know for the last mm. four or five months you haven't uploaded a video you made a uh your last three videos essentially consist of i beat every boss in hardcore minecraft that, that was a good video sucked. i know it didn't do amazing but i actually really enjoyed that video i think it sucks i th oh my god i didn't like it why have you not I, deleted like, it look, if you didn't like back, it why not delete I it stupid. i i actually should i i, I kind of want to delete that video do it. i just i i'm just i'm just not satisfied with it so get rid of it then why not and this can be okay, like a podcast uh, this can be podcast Podcast law. We can keep this in, and, and this will be law. <laughs> wait, actually, wait. I could do that right now. Wait, dude. What? Or insane orbits exclusive. Wait, I'll actually try. Wait, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang wait, on. what's happening? No way. Can this stay in the podcast as law? Yeah, you can. Holy podcast law. Okay, so your last three videos now consist of. <laughs> I survived 100 <laughs> days as a dungeon crawler. Uh, channel mm -hmm. update, and then I yes. survived 100 days as a skeleton, which is the one that you really like, Chad. And that was the one I. Mm -hmm. That was the one. There we go. Actually, four months ago, that was the one I watched you edit when i got food poisoning so that so it wasn't yeah. four or five weeks it was a lot longer than that <laughs> so where have you been these yeah. last four months girl mail what's happened to you all right so let me so about uh i want to say june or july of when it really started i was kind of shifting my strategy of 100 videos i was kind of, I, I was just like kind of unsatisfied with the growth of my channel because it seemed like really inconsistent because i was still i i at, at this time i think i was still coming off of like the whole 100 days video kind of blowing up and i really wanted to get
get like views consistently. So my strategy that I thought of like, okay, instead of one 100 days a month, I'll do two. That just means I'll get like doubled the views, right? Yeah. Wrong. Oh. You see what ended up happening was that I would rush through all of my 100 days, right? And like, th they're not horrible videos, but it's at, at the same time, it's like I could have done so much better and like ma making them like actual like polished works. Whereas like I, I I'm, I'm just I'm just disappointed with them. But anyway, so I was working really hard, right? And there was almost like even a sense of complacency with it. I don't know if like that's the right word, but I was kind of just working and I wasn't really enjoying it that you were much. doing it but you weren't um, doing it because yeah i think that's a good way to put it and it it just kind of got because like uh, still at this point youtube was the only thing that i was really doing so just kind of seeing that like it really hurt and i was like i almost quit youtube for a bit like i'm gonna i'm just gonna be completely honest there was a point like where i was like wait what do i enjoy youtube <laughs> i was like <laughs> i was like so confused like i'm working on these videos like why why do i not like enjoy it right and i came to basically two conclusions first of which was that i I needed to completely rethink about how I approach YouTube. The second of which was that I just needed something else in my life other than YouTube. <laughs> because obsessing over something is great until uh, you kind of like neglect IRL. So I was like, okay, first thing is I'm just going to kind of rethink YouTube, whatever. Second thing is that I'm just going to go to college. So I've actually just finished up my first semester, as a matter of fact. Oh, no, sure. So that's pretty cool. What are you studying? Yeah. I am just, I think I'm studying, I haven't like declared my, I'm, kind you of don't know I'm what you're, to. you don't know what you're going to college for right now and you've done another I don't semester. Know. I don't know. I'll just like, it's whatever, man. It's not like an important thing. It's, it's only college. Uh, I mean, I it's mean, it's only, it's only the most important thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I've said anyway. it already. I think I said it on a previous podcast, but if I haven't, then you're going to hear it now. Podcast listeners <laughs> is, uh. I've, I'm giving myself until I'm 22, so I'm currently 20 years of age. I'm giving myself mm. until 2025, the end of the school year in England is like August, I think. And if by August, the podcast, I'm just not satisfied, I guess, with where I am. Or even if I am, it depends on really how things are going. I'm going to go back to college and I'm going to study marketing and hopefully get a degree in marketing. Because yeah. I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I originally went to college. I studied accounting and I ended up not doing it because I just didn't enjoy it. But now I'm like, mm. I feel like I'm pretty good at marketing. You know, everything, all of the promotion and stuff <laughs> on the podcast is by me. Like, I run the entire Twitter yeah. account and everything. So I'd like to say that, you know, I've done a pretty good job of pushing the podcast out there. So I've essentially built a bit of a resume. But, you know, I, I could learn a lot more if I went to college and maybe, like, follow a career path there, you know? I mean, all, all memes aside, college is important. 100%, so. yeah. Gomel just... is just a big memer. <laughs> I'm just a big memer. <laughs> so, yeah, I was kind of just... I was in college and I was still kind of thinking about YouTube. And my, my next strategy was like, okay, maybe it's the style of 100 Days videos that I don't... So I I was planning to like shift my entire content to more of like non-scripted kind of like kind of like almost like Lagundo where it's like non-scripted you're kind of just playing like doing whatever but I like either I could never get myself to record or there would always be something stupid that would happen that would like prevent me from recording like I had this idea that I was that I was gonna do um like I, I initially put like a channel post somewhere that I was like right, guys I'm gonna upload in October it's gonna be all good and then I didn't upload in October so I just want to I just want to clarify my idea that i had was basically like i was gonna go on this server it wasn't really even a 100 days i was gonna go on this like really toxic server that i found and i was gonna go on with a couple of friends and we were just gonna completely take over the server but it turns out that it was a cracked server oh. <laughs> and it was like okay i don't want a lot of people who are getting mad at me like with my ip address i'm good i think i think i'll not make the pass deal. on so, that yeah a lot of a lot of stuff like that happened but anyway i'm kind of hitting a wall again right at this point, I talked to Andrew. Now, not a lot of many people uh, who are watching this will know who Andrew I, is. I Basically, don't think I do either. Do I? I'm, I'm not going to get into much detail, but like he's been my YouTube sensei, basically. Does he, does, so he's been do they there. have a channel as well? He does. He goes by Drew Does on YouTube. He does like travel stuff. Oh, um, I think I've seen that like pop up on my recommended one time. I've definitely seen the channel. Yeah. Like, cause when, as soon as you said Drew Does, which is literally the name, <laughs> I realized I recognized it. But I've never watched like, a video of that, so I won't lie and go, oh, I know who that is. I don't. I've just seen him pop up on my recommended. Yeah, but he's really smart with YouTube. He was 
Steven, the, the guy who like uh, helped me initially like get the internship with Garrett. So great guy. Okay. Um. Anyway, so he's always been the guy to kind of point me in the right direction when it comes to you because that was his job before like he was a tuber is like he would grow other people's channels. That's cool. Um. And I think I think he even like he got to a million TikTok followers in like a month, which is like insane. So like this guy clearly knows what he's doing. Um. Anyway, so he points me in the direction of one of these 100 player videos. And I'm like, hey, that sounds interesting. And I kind of look at um, just how one, the scripted 100 days format. And it's like, hey, maybe the format's not completely dead yet. So that's interesting. But anyway, so that's kind of what I'm working on right now is like the 100 player video. And I don't mean, I'm not going to promise anything. I'm not going to make any promise, okay? <laughs> it's all kind of up in the air, but there is a possibility, maybe, just maybe, that we could see a 100 days season two. <gasps> maybe. No. Maybe. Shot. It's possible. 100 it's possible. players simulate 100 days. <gasps> <laughs> that could actually slap. No, an, uh, maybe. <laughs> Sounds cool. 100 I, I players like simulate maybe. 100 days as a skeleton. <gasps> <gasps> no Yo. way. In hardcore Minecraft, I should add. <laughs> In hardcore Minecraft. That actually, that's actually a really good, maybe, I'll think about that. That's actually not like a horrible idea. <laughs> I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. I can't that's tell. Actually, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I'm talking I'm, about I'm, the gold medal thing earlier. I gotta be careful now on <laughs> what you actually like or don't like. <laughs> I'm serious. No, I'm being serious. That's a cool way. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, 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 uh, fast forward to like kind of the end of like my, my YouTube hiatus. Cause at this point I'm still kind of like, I'm still kind of discovering what I do. Right. Yeah. And my answer, the answer that I come across, right. I am fine with pretty much making whatever kind of content as long as I think it's good. And that's like the really important thing that like, that I've learned about myself yeah. is like, I, I just want to do everything that I can to make the highest quality video possible. Like compared to like, like most people, like they, they kind of get into YouTube where it's like, you know, they find a video format that they like. And at, at some point, may, maybe the video format dies out or something. Uh, I was kind of the opposite. I kind of like just jumped into YouTube. No idea what I was doing. I didn't even start a channel before. I was literally, Golmo was my first channel. I was like, dude, 2020 pandemics is hitting hard. Might as well create a YouTube channel. That was like my thought process. But it was just it's just kind of, I kind of came to that conclusion you know what I sh I just want to make is good and when i'm making something that i don't feel is like rushing out these videos then that has an effect but when i do when i work on something that I, like i freaking i think will do well i like oh my god i i i i'm up at like one in the morning because i can't sleep uh, thinking about the video and like how i blow it off <laughs> so i'm i'm just that kind of person see that's the thing i've gone through those phases so my original content career was uh was through command block tutorials that's why I st that's why instant always started and i'd like wake up in the mornings morning with like i did, did on battle condition i'd wake up in the morning already build built like the command in my head basically in a dream i'd go to my pc and yep. i'd actually have executed it that's how much I'd, i don't know why it was the case but it worked and then <laughs> i made commentary videos which i really really enjoyed i just didn't really enjoy how well they weren't doing or how badly they did for views and stuff like that and then uh, and then i just got really passionate about the podcast and with the podcast like of course i wanted it to do well i'd love one day if i could just make the podcast a full-time thing even if it takes me down other career paths like you know interviewing for tournaments or i'd love to do stuff like that i'd absolutely i'd be so open to it as i mean if i was only yeah. interviewing someone else was editing it i wouldn't be able to do it all because i've already I, I edit the podcast <laughs> but you know like i i look at a podcast and i just enjoy the idea of talking to other creators i don't really mind too much that like if the podcast don't do amazing for views or it doesn't blow up and i think that's what helps so much is i don't i care about how much it grows because i'm constantly trying to think of ways to promote it but i'm not stuck in yeah. this kind of thing of like oh this it, it isn't growing like i mean i think in the last like three days i haven't gained any subscribers on youtube and it's like same i'm not i'm not <laughs> but i'm not standing here dying crying like oh like i'm not doing a good job i mean I, yeah i feel like i'm in a bit of a stalemate because i'm like what else can i do now because i've tried everything i'm like what else can i do to promote the podcast but i'm not like mm -hmm. i'm not panicking and like oh it's over like i've still got guests scheduled in until the end of february so you know it kind of it kind of sums it all up you know but i can see with like a lot of your old videos i mean even with the skeleton one we're sitting in the voice call and you were like showing all your document and showing all your stuff and i, I could tell you were really <laughs> passionate about making that video so yeah i i love just kind of going off the rails and like because that, that's basically the gist of my 100 days videos it's like al it's almost satire like i i try to like make the most like the the stupidest story like possible the potion that's the one with the it. potion end right right 
yeah, like, but like, do you go to throw the spoiler alert? If you haven't watched the video by now, it's oh, kind yeah. of on you, anyways. But where like you throw the potion and you just completely miss, and it just bounces in the water, <laughs> and it's like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I like I, I like doing stuff like that because I feel like it, it's it's different and like because when when I do something that is like different but it still hits all the notes of like what the 100 days audience specs, people really appreciate that. Like I've got so many comments on my first tree video. It's like, dude, this guy's commentary. It's so good. And like stuff like that, the, the lumberjack that was so, and I, and, and that's like, that's a good sign that like I'm, I'm on the right direction. So I feel like that's what I really love doing. Yeah. What are some, uh, so. what are some uh, secrets to the algorithm that you'd feel like sharing? Cause obviously you're yeah. a big, like we said, we haven't, to be fair, we kind of touched on it, but we haven't actually really touched on too much of how you're a big algorithm nerd. All I know is you are, but go on, prove it to me. How are you a big, are you a big algorithm nerd? Right. Cause I actually don't, there I haven't really way. seen an action, I guess, in, in like in the podcast. There is a today. way, <laughs> there is a way that you can reliably predict if a video will blow up. Right? Okay. I'm serious. Okay. All right. So do anyone, share if you can. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give people the chance to, okay. I'm going to, YouTubers go into your analytics, right? Okay. Go into advanced mode. Wait, hold up. Let me do this as well. Let me do this. Chill, 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 chill. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. So, right. Okay, An okay. Analytics. Yeah. Analytics. Okay. You're on your main page. I'm on right? my, I'm on my podcast so, analytics. <laughs> okay. The, the, the top right hand advanced thing mode. that says advanced mode. Click on that. It's like just for your general. Don't, don't go for your like. Just no, I've just, I've just clicked Actually, on wait, advanced no, mode. I completely lied. I completely lied. Oh my uh, God. Wait, that's wrong. This is bad. <laughs> okay. Go to, go to, go to a specific video that you want to see if it will like do, right? What do you mean? See if so, it will do. Okay. I guess my most recent one. Go, I, we're recording. Just, just go, go, go into the whatever Kettles video you want to was uploaded an hour ago. Okay, cool. So I'm on this one. All right. So I'm on my 100 days dragon tier. Actually, also, I'll probably go in. So I go, go into your video, right? Mm -hmm. Go into advanced mode of whatever video that you're, you're How do I go into advanced mode on here? Oh, I'll go into analytics the and then advanced right. mode on that one. Go. You have to go to analytics yes. on the video, then press advanced mode. Okay. Yes, I've done that. <laughs> All right. Now go to traffic source. Yeah. And click on suggested video. So my suggested video. Right, 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 right. Where's suggested videos? Okay. 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 Where is suggested videos? Okay. It's a, it's a, okay. It, it, you've you've clicked traffic source. Right? Yeah. Okay, oh, add metric to the table. Thing, n n you're close. Like the it's like the blue boxes. It says suggested videos, YouTube search, browse features, other YouTube traffic source. Nothing. Traffic it's just not showing source. anything. It's not showing anything. What? I'm sharing my screen. Okay. I'm sharing my screen. I can't see your screen. <laughs> oh, hang on. Hang on. Okay. Okay. This is what I've said. <laughs> yeah, see, mine just shows nothing. I guess it's because I uploaded an hour ago, maybe. Is that why? Okay. Okay, I'll go into another video. Chill, one second. Bear, bear with me. Hold up. <laughs> I need to go back. This is all staying in. I'm not kind of out. All right, let's go to the, I guess, the one. Let's try that one. Analytics, okay. uh, advanced mode. All right. Traffic source. All right, yeah, I see the yes. boxes. Which one is it? Suggested videos. Yeah, so, suggested videos. Yeah. So click on that, right? Oh, you so click on basically, it. Got you. Okay, right. Yeah, I've clicked on so, it. So, so you know when you see the w when you're looking at like just your your regular channel page, right? And you see retention. That's really the aggregate of all of these different metrics combined. So like I've I've just showed you suggested YouTube search, browse features, uh, whatever. Yeah. If you really want to like dive deep, these are closer to your actual like these are closer to what people are actually saying because it's just a combination. So the reason I'm saying go in suggested videos is that from what I've seen, if a video does well in suggested, it's probably gonna do so. What you're have to, what you're looking through what you're looking at here is if the average view duration and the impressions click through rate are both higher than what you see at your initial page. Yeah, no, video, okay, this isn't this, yeah, okay. I guess it's different with a podcast. I, I guess is that because this yeah this isn't the best <laughs> the only one i the, the yeah. one i re is really standing out to me is the fact that two people clicked on from the president pound cake podcast and it has an average view duration of an hour and 18 minutes mm. with 32 impressions well, thing, at 6.3 click through right that, that, here's the thing that since since you're like probably more in the pod you're, you're in like the podcast genre whereas like i'm in like the 100 day genre you're probably gonna look more for like maybe browse or like search something like that so like go back into your analytics yeah. Yeah. And see what it says for browse features and YouTube. YouTube okay, search. well, on on this on this specific podcast. Yeah, on yeah on the okay. advanced page of whatever podcast. So traffic right source. Uh, yeah, yep. it goes browse features, suggested videos, external. They're the top three. Okay, so oh, is there more that I need to say from here? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, so is the the click through rate and retention higher on browse than it is in your initial analytics? If that makes um, sense. Um. So I guess I'm kind of leaking. This 
that's her. <laughs> uh, I, I honestly, I might end up just muting her names if people don't know what podcast I'm on about. Just in case. That's fine. Uh, I need to go back one second. Oh, I can just press the X button. Right, so for this podcast, the AVD is 9.46 and okay. the and the CTR is... I don't know how to find a CTR on here. On like, unless it, it's on... It says it. Oh, it it, uh, sorry. So CTR really. is 2%. Two, two <laughs> uh, and oh, okay. on, on, the, on the thingy, uh, the CTR is 1.1%. And the AVD is 6.45, so it's actually lower. Yeah, I mean, I, I would recommend Wait, no. like, maybe a thumbnail change. The, the CTR is 2% and the AVD is 9.46. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. So it's basically okay. the do exact you, same. Do you find that that is about what you normally get with CTR? Because CTR is this weird metric where it's it's really different for everyone and it changes all the time. But what I what it's not really a good idea to say like, oh, there's a good amount. There's a good click through because every genre is different, right? So some, the... some topics will get more clicks than others. Okay, so I'm going to say the name, I'm going to cut out. So this podcast got 13.6k yep. impressions with a 2% CTR. The f podcast got 41.4k impressions with a 3.7% CTR. And okay. another one that's done well, uh, podcast got 32.6k impressions with a 1.4% CTR. And I guess last but not yeah, least I... we'll do... Sorry to cut you off. Uh, I've got 18.5k uh, mm -hmm. impressions with a 3.5% CTR. What do you think you did differently in the thumbnail versus nothing the podcast the, the uh, thumbnails are the exact same i did mm, i keep the exact same i keep the exact same thumbnail the only difference mm -hmm. is promoted the podcast on reddit and oh. and twitter compared to only replied and uh, retweeted it on twitter whereas it looks like broke retweeted yeah. it and uh, put it on reddit yeah okay so then you're <laughs> probably going to see a lot of external traffic from yeah i have yeah <laughs> yeah okay so that's what i said like i, I mean i mean i'm, I'm that, also but... just kind of i mean i'm not going to change anything i'm not trying to waste your time because yeah. we're just talking i'm just more asking just i'm learning myself uh, i guess if i ever bring back the main channel per se because i don't want to change the thumbnail i like the thumbnail format and like i said earlier i do the podcast for fun i'm not i'm trying to look at ways to better promote it but i'm not trying to like beat the algorithm with, like a funky thumbnail in a perfect title kind of thing i'm happy with my thumbnails and yeah. titles i like the mats i want to keep it kind of thing okay so but yeah no, that's yeah, interesting fine. to know though that that's how you know so 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 if yeah. it's higher if the impression ct on the avd is higher than it is on the actual full video itself then that's a way of knowing how it, that is going to do well yeah I, I mean youtube literally tells you if you get a higher you get a high ctr in retention it will promote your content so that's just something to i mean podcast kept, kept getting boosted by the algorithm like there's so many like yeah. different it's like it looks like a staircase on the graph which is quite interesting what about what about other things then to prove that you're an algorithm nerd well well she got uh let's see okay uh subscribers all right so here's the thing about a subscriber right if you tell people to subscribe they are going to subscribe like that has been statistically proven right but there is still a debate on like what why would you think that is say that one more time sorry so so if you ask people to subscribe subscribe instead of not asking people to subscribe it is it's like statistically proven that they are more likely to subscribe. because but you're putting there in is their head, still I a guess. debate i guess technically oh, sorry, you're, i guess it's technically because you're putting it in their head you're saying like because you because right, like but, sometimes but, i watch a video and i don't think to like it or subscribe until they like you should like the video but, i'm like oh my god i should like the video but there are still youtubers who don't ask people who are very why, why would you, why do you think that is because they make good videos <laughs> i don't know or they have exactly, exactly exactly yeah. that's that's the, the, the point that i'm trying to make is that subscribers are literally just a vanity metric they play basically no role in how successful a video is it's all like through the algorithm i mean that's the same with twitch like you, your followers on twitch like the amount of followers you have on twitch doesn't really mean shit because you yeah. like if you if you like i have thirty thousand subscribers on youtube and the majority of them come from command block tutorials that i made three years ago or two yeah. years ago so i know I, I agree with that 100 percent that it just doesn't really mean yeah i mean sometimes it does so, obviously i mean i'd love to get I mean, a silver it, play button listen, but <laughs> Listen, it, 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 if you care about getting a lot of subscribers, then you you should you 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 should. Um, but really, in terms of like purely algorithmic growth, uh, it doesn't really play a lot. But it's nice to have. Personally, I'm gonna be asking people to subscribe because I really want to hit 100k. So that's my next goal. Yeah, I'd love to get. A, I'd love. Oh man, having a silver play button in my room that says "Inside MC Podcast." <laughs> oh, the dream. Yeah. <laughs> was that I, yeah, man. I just. I'd love that so much. I always wanted it with Insane Orbits, and if I'd done tutorial videos, I could be up at like for four hundred thousand subscribers. Uh, uh, but... Orbits, can I say something that will crush your dreams? Yeah, go on. <laughs> I have a gold play button in my room. That's not gonna crush my dreams. I'm happy for you to have a gold play button. That's <laughs> I have sick. a gold play button. I. It's not. It's not technically mine. I don't really talk about it a lot. Go. 
but, um, it's, spill it's, the it's, beans, another, Domo. It's, it's, it's another Garrett thing. Okay. So basically, I was helping him out with one of his channels called Reaction. I don't, I don't like, I don't work with on that channel anymore, but I helped get it to a million subscribers and uh, he gave me. That's cool though. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna yeah. be like, oh, I can't believe I would. That's, that's not crushing my dreams. I'm really happy for you to have one here. <laughs> bro, I'd, yeah. I'd happily take any gold play, but I don't care what name it says on it. I, if I can hang a gold play button on my wall, I'm hanging one on my wall, Gomel. Yeah. <laughs> you know? No, but, uh, but uh, Garrett, Garrett's such a cool boss. I, I haven't talked to him in a while, but he's, he's a really good guy. So, wait, so I thought, like, because once, once the podcast gets like 100,000 subscribers, because I'm, I'm determined in next 2024, the podcast is going to do really, really well. Just basically based on yeah. the interactions and the traction I'm getting based from the content creators, in a sense, of who wants to come on the mm -hmm. podcast. You know, obviously, time will tell. I don't think I'm going to hit 100,000 subscribers, but you never really know. Anything can happen. YouTube could. Mm -hmm. I've seen YouTube, YouTube videos do well sometimes with really bad thumbnails and titles just because it gets promoted. You know, that's yeah, how I mean, I've seen at, it. I don't look, know if there's a strat to that as at, well, but. Look at any H Bomber guy thumbnail. <laughs> If you guys, if you guys have seen H Bobber guy, his thumbnails are so weird, but the video itself is interesting enough to make you want to click, and that's so that's such an anomaly to me, and I love it. I mean, it's the same with like I, I used to own a channel called my. Oh yeah, I've seen. Oh yeah, see exactly. I used to. I used to. I. I mean, I do still own. It, I just haven't really made content on it on a Minecraft PowerPoint channel. The first video mm -hmm. is literally just a PowerPoint screenshot with the title, and he got 12k views for no reason, and it wasn't a short. It wasn't anything. It just got 12,000 views for the sake of getting 12. 1000 views as i mean so like as much as you can track crack down on the algorithm you've done a really really good job of doing so the algorithm can sometimes just bless you like i said with the with the podcast can it i just, see the thumbnail just it, it's just it's just me on the right and skin on the left that's it is it look at the inside what? mc podcast channel they're all the exact same Wait, thumbnail well i'm talking about like the the powerpoint right? oh sorry the, just the search up minecraft really well. powerpoints i'm looking at this i must i must my youtube brain minecraft power it should it should show up as soon as you type that name in yeah it's called uh, mc minecraft powerpoint style mc powerpoints M i see painter in the sky avb enter yeah i just linked it to it it showed up instantly for me for some reason there you go MC yeah uh 12k views why pixel paradise is the best server <laughs> No, that video, did, that channel did like really, really well for views, all things considered. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, I, I have no on. idea why this. I have no idea. You have, you have, you have defeated me, Orbit. I have and no the thing clue. is, the videos are just me screaming. Like everything's on max volume, even like the music. <laughs> There's nothing good I mean, about they... those videos other than them being stupid. Okay, here's, here's my thought. Here's my thought. Right? There's like th these are. It's initially marketed right as like kind of a a, a meme. Ch that's that's the impression that I get. I, I could be. Wrong. It is a meme channel. Yes, Pixel very Paradise meme. Is the best is the best server. I don't know what pixel paradise is but i want to click because it's like less than a minute it's a dog shit that server sense. that's now shut I... <laughs> down and that video is probably the best video i've ever created just based on it was just it was just the perfect video i just made it and i was in like a voice call with a few content creators two years ago i remember exactly who was in that voice call as well and we were all just laughing we were just laughing how stupid the fucking video was and it did so well <laughs> so oh man i miss minecraft powerpoints yeah. i just can't be bothered to do that kind of content anymore I, i'm more i'm more i'm more motivated to edit an hour long podcast than I am to edit a one yeah, minute video. I feel that. Which is kind of crazy. Well, what other algorithms? I, I'm kind of keep like stepping in here. Sorry. I've got this has become like just a conversation. I mean, it what is other, a conversation anyway. All but. right. What do you have? What do you have next for me? Yeah. The algorithm, man. All Go right. on, hit um, me. Okay, one final thing. So otherwise, we'll sit here forever till not the algorithm. I mean, give me. Uh, can you give me like um? I don't know. Like, do you have any niche algorithm question that you have mm. other than just like? How do I get one million subscribers in a day? Okay, no, it also that's, that's different. Uh, titles, <laughs> gone. Get hit me with titles. Titles. Uh, okay, so. So, I mean, what, what I see going around nowadays is like, you got, you got to have like a short and snappy title that gets to the point. And there is some truth to that, but it is at the same time about appealing to the audience that you want. Cause like a hundred days titles are like normally like really long, right? I survived a hundred days as a skeleton in hardcore Minecraft. If I change that to like 100 days skeleton, sure. It would be like sh short and like more to the point, but it's just not a good title compared to like what other people are doing. Oh, yeah. So that so no one would click. So even if it's like a decent thumbnail, it's like it, it 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 would come across as low effort in the way that I don't want it to. If that makes sense. Yeah. Because <laughs> like I already make I already make all my titles like lowercase, and that is intentional, just because like I I kind of have like a more chill attitude towards 100 days, and I feel like. 
people kind of notice that titles titles i mean it, it is different for like you don't it, have it to is pull kind of on the spot because the ones you've given me so far is still good enough like yeah i mean i'm yeah i'm not really sure i have much day other than that i mean it's like it's like asking what is a good thumbnail it's like well whatever appeals to the audience like better than what other people are doing and that's why i feel like my thumbnails are all right all things considered it's literally just a picture of me and then a picture of the thing that we're talking about or the person we're talking to like it's just kind of straight to i know i could change it but i don't know i guess like i guess with the podcast as well in general because it's just an hour of you sitting down talking with someone i think i i guess i guess it's a hot take and i could be wrong it's like podcasts are solely just great like grown on personality i don't think there's like really too much of a way to beat an algorithm with podcasts that's that's very possible i mean a lot of the podcasts that you see nowadays are like you know they have like really big creators at them yeah like, exactly they've already like... been established by the creator themselves yeah so i'm not sure that that's that's a pretty good point even on spotify because like the thumbnails that the, the titles that i'm doing like you know i'll read through some now so we've got kel awesome how to win every minecraft tournament that's probably one of my best titles so far because i'm experimenting with just like one thing but it's like president pound cake alleged speedrunner and minecraft game show host uh speed silver i so originally the midweek mc titles had midweek mc in them but they've since been changed to now speed silver the owner of hoplite and its future silver runs minecraft mm -hmm. speed running and winning my multiple tournaments like i think i think like it's just it's just the number the, the person who's on the podcast two things the podcast is about and then the number the podcast is and that's mainly just because it's it's, it's it's intentionally made to be a spotify format because it's on spotify it doesn't do amazing but it does quite well considering the spotify algorithm so that's intentionally a spotify format consistency between the two and even though most podcasts they don't upload to youtube they upload highlights to youtube and that's what i was doing and the highlights channel did all right for some of the videos i could have done a lot better mm. but yeah it was just too much on my plate so <laughs> oh you know what you could try i just thought of this like you should try shorts it's yeah a, speed silver insane. said the same thing um yeah, that'd be really cool and i did but it's just it's just too much for me i because i do everything myself i arrange the guests i record i edit i upload i i do the promotion blah 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 so i put out like this big tweet saying if anyone wants to unofficially join the podcast team they can have like find clips and put in the discord since i made that tweet in the discord channel nobody sent a highlight clip <laughs> but you know <laughs> maybe one day i'll bring the highlights channel back maybe one day when i because because i also work as well that's thing i work and i have a girlfriend and oh, my yeah. family and all that kind of stuff so it's like i have to kind of cut off what is what is the thing that is possibly going to help me the most but just takes like isn't i, I don't know i guess just mm -hmm. i can't doesn't fit in the most and it was the highlight channel so but we'll see. I'll bring it back. I'll definitely bring it back. It's just about when I bring it back. Yeah, so. I, I feel like it would def it would definitely help uh, if, it, if it's like a too much of a time. Commitment. But it was ma it was making me lose motivation. That was the issue. Like oh, having yeah, to having yeah. to go through and memorize and clip it and export it and blah blah blah. Like I want to stream and I want to you know maybe one day bring back the main channel. So it's like I had to kind of cut off because it was just killing my commitment in a sense. That's fair. Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know it will help. Like hundred percent. It's just yeah, maybe one day, maybe one day I'll bring it back. I guess more back on you and your content then in 2021 you were in mcc rising one yeah so rising I, you've played in a few tournaments you like you played in mania uh have you ever played in a mayhem i don't think you have have you no i haven't yeah so you're not really a big tournament player so what was what was the deal with mcc rising one not really so oh my god so basically right at uh, so i'm gonna have to go back in time so well that's what we're in, doing yeah <laughs> i think early or i think early 2020 when i, I no it, it was basically i had this strategy in my head because this was back in the time when i was high pixel like short mini game style content and i was like okay once mcc island comes out i'm gonna like farm the view and i'm gonna make a ton of mcc island that was my strategy right so naturally what i did was for the nox crew channel i turned notifications on <laughs> so fast forward <laughs> to like october or whenever uh but whenever like the mcc applications open i I get this notification. I was like, wait, the MCC rising. That's it. And I was terrified to apply. I was like, wait, oh my God, I'm so terrified. What if I like get rejected? And like, <laughs> I, I, I could, I very easily like, could have, but I got uh, some of my friends together, uh, Mike Stemister and uh, Gogolino, and we all applied and through some miracle, I don't know how we got in, but, but we got in. And um, it was just such a cool experience. Like being an MCC, like the the, fu the most fun part wasn't even the event part of it. It was literally just chilling on the, the server and like hanging out, like the practice and just hanging out with. I remember, but, oh, I want to tell the story now that I think about it. So there is this... <laughs> 
<laughs> so I was in a voice call with, I think, Hades and Rosary, I think. They were just hanging out. Okay. Um, and we were on the practice. And all of a sudden, we see Bad Boy Halo. And I, I, the, the, those of you who have seen my streams, I think they'll will know what I'm... Um, I've told the story a ton of times. <laughs> but basically, someone... I, I think the voice chat got really big at some point. And then people, someone asked Bad Boy Halo to join VC. Oh, and no. he did. He, him and Ant Frost joined uh, VC, <laughs> and it was really cool. I, we're in the battle box thing, right? And we're all playing a game of battle box 4v4 and i was if you picture the hallway of like the old uh, uh the old i'm trying i'm not i'm not i'm not sure if like if, if the the layout has changed because i haven't watched it but basically <gasps> there's a battle box there's a battle box thing and there's two hallways one on the left one on the right and there's their area with windows right so i like strategically in pvp right i normally would go to the right and who on the enemy team decides to go left almost every single time the only person Bad boy Halo. <laughs> bad boy Halo. So I was in VC killing bad boy Halo a ton of times. And it was so <laughs> funny. And it got to the point where he was like, he called me a pumpkin muffin at one point. And that like that was like, oh my god, I've won at life. You should have had that him write that. So... You should have had them write that down so you could uh, so <laughs> I, you could frame I, it. I was recording at the time. I've never I've never released any footage because that would be kind of cringe. But I do I do have a recording of it. <laughs> yeah, you have a recording of bad boy Halo calling I was, you a pumpkin muffin. This I is was huge. So cringe. Cringe. I was so cringe at the time. I was like, oh my god, bad boy. Because <laughs> I didn't, because it was my first time like interacting with anyone who was like famous. And I was like, oh my god, I thank you for gracing me with your compliments. <laughs> I watch you and Scappy all the time. I didn't actually. Honestly, it that's was, kind of it like, was so cool. That's kind of where I've gotten with the podcast now. Like the amount of in quotation marks, the larger creators I've had on now, it's kind of more of a blase thing to me now. Like one time a day would have been like, oh my god, I can't believe this. And it's still cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm not like, I'm not taking it for granted, but it's more so like, I'm kind of, I'm kind of just like oh shit like i'm getting to talk to these creators every single time this is this is pretty cool you know <laughs> like you know i don't like like last year when i got Anne venom on podcast it's like oh I, it was still a really really good podcast but like i i can just looking back on it i'm my worst critic i can see like how much better that could have been and it's like mm -hmm. looking at how yeah. i kind of realized that mistake and executed it now to be better going forward it's like it's nice you know it's like like how with you two years ago you know if you talk to a larger creator it's like oh my god i can't believe this but now it's like oh and it's just chilling <laughs> you know they're, 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 and then you realize that they're the same as you essentially yeah and i haven't even talked about that time i talked to Sunday. i, I kind of want to go into that, that was, yeah go on that go was ahead. a really cool experience was this mcc okay, rising so, as well or no uh actually well okay uh mcc rise last thing i'll say about mcc rising it really just being like around so many creative people just really solidified like hey i want youtube to be my job and that was like the biggest takeaway i think because that from that point on like from, from 2020 to like mcc i was like kind of trying youtube but I, it was really more just to like see how far I could go but after MCC Rising, I was like, no, I want this to be my job. This is awesome. So <laughs> anyway, that was that really like solidified it. But anyway, going um to Sunday, it's so we're gonna jump forward. It's Friday, not Sunday. Year. Sorry, sorry. Okay, buddy. <laughs> well, okay, well, all right, this is been the inside MC. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Screw you. Yeah, go on. Yeah, jump into Sunday. <laughs> uh, okay, anyway. So a year, a year later, I was um uh, another another thing with Garrett. So they were doing a a month us like a modded among us recording session uh and garrett was in it i think he still makes what is garrett's app by the today. way i feel like you said it but jo jobless garrett and he oh, has like okay a that's jobless garrett got you okay cool he was like dude duh, we need some people uh to, we need help recording among us stuff and i was like damn that sounds pretty cool so i uh, and I got to talk with the Sunday and like a ton of other YouTubers and that was pretty cool I think I'm I think the videos that I made are like they should still be up look up there's like the first one I remember was like Wishmallow mod I think Go and then there was like a Amos. Thanos yeah I think I think some people even like clipped some parts from the video like my cut off screams I think that was like so funny that people were doing uh, that there's a video from s Sunday 0.001% uh, chance of this happening in a yeah moment. that was I think that was like the third oh. I think that was the third one I didn't have it if I had YouTube think... muted, oops. Uh, I think, you're, uh, yeah, you're in the description. Yeah, so you're in the yeah. video. So, and, and like, if you look at the data, like, you can see, views. like, first of September 2022. See, like, yeah, I, I didn't even get a lot of subscribers from that, honestly. I think, well, actually, did I? I think, and maybe I got a few. I'd have to check. Maybe I, 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 maybe I kind of did. I don't really remember. Anyway, so I was, I was there. 
and I was in like four or five videos and that was pretty much it. I would have I would have continued the, the recording thing. I think they, they invited me to come back, but it was just, oh my God, the recordings are so long. How they, long? They're, they're in call eight hours, like every day. Playing it is among insane. Us? Playing Among Us, yeah. I respect the work ethic, honestly. I respect it, but like a bit long, innit? <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's just, it's just not the kind of content I would make, honestly. Fair enough. But I mean, that, there is like that time commitment. Too, but I mean, huge, huge respect for them for uh, having me on. That was pretty cool. Going back a little bit here to MCC Rising. So you placed yeah. your team placed third as a team. So close, Scarmel. So so Dude, so so close. Oh my god, we were so, we were so close. We did, I think I think we did really. I think survival games was like the the thing that was like, oh okay, we're not getting. Yeah, here. it was a bit messy uh, survival game. Well, not messy per like, se, well, but it was one team, one survival games. Well, it was like we just we just didn't practice survival games before MC. Like that was the one game we didn't think practice at all. <laughs> and it we showed. practiced everything else, but. <laughs> Yeah, man. We just we we needed better like uh, team coordination stuff. It happens. But, I, I mean, mean it was it, it, so fun. Yeah, I think I think looking back, we did take it a little bit too seriously. Like even looking at the vod, like guys, 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 I need more sand. How are you? What are you doing? <laughs> you know, we we're just kind of screaming. We we're just like screaming at each other. But I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just I'm just happy that I was able to take part in these. You so, placed 15 Findiv, I believe, right? Was it 15? No, it was 12. Div. Oh, uh, same thing. Almost. I almost got top 10. Well, you still cooked, anyways. I mean, like. I know you took yeah. it seriously, but at least you had a fun time. That's, I guess that's my, so for instance, right now we're recording on Friday the 22nd, and this is coming yep. out, as I mentioned, in 2024. However, uh, in exactly two and a half hours, I'm going to be playing in Jack Cast Charity Game Nights. So, Yo. and uh, the, the mentality we have going into it is we're just gonna, we're just gonna have fun. But I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna try hard, like, uh, non-PVP games, and then the PVP games, we're just gonna bum rush everyone, everyone. It's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. So, no leaking yeah. the skull mail. Whether or not this happens, <laughs> If you're listening, you'll know if it's happened, and if it didn't, then <laughs> at you know, <laughs> at Jackcast. Hey, watch out for orbits. Well, Jackcast is literally the he's literally not playing. <laughs> he's he's at Kel awesome. <laughs> yeah, because Kel also, yeah, I'm sure Kel awesome is scared of me, <laughs> me, AJX, <laughs> Debbie, Tortil, and Roman, the dynamic five. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's gonna be fun though. But um, I just don't take like I try in tournaments so, like when when I played Mayhem with like Feinberg and stuff. I tried in those tournaments, but I've established I'm I'm either a third or a bottom frag. Like, like, there's no i'm not like i i played one many and i did really really well and it's not really a memory because of my teammate sadly our teammate one of the teammates but i i we ended up winning that event and i popped off but like ever since then i've just because i've committed so much time to the podcast as well i've just become so washed yeah i i think it's the same for me like i i really want to be like a the like freaking a top top frag event player but i i honestly just rather do uh you know put more time in i mean it's fun it's fun try harding minecraft for, but i mean i don't like want that to yeah exactly i mean i'm just happy because being a third frag you're always guaranteed to play with a good player and there's only a very limited amount of good players so you get to play with some pretty cool people that's how yeah. i see it yeah <laughs> you know like i'm like yeah if i if i carry on being crap enough i might get teamed with kel awesome at one point that's that's the goal <laughs> so, or golmo even i'll get teamed with golmo at one point yo are you looking to play more tournaments maybe make a return to minecraft mania i heard sure. that's coming back this month from when yeah, this podcast I mean, is hey, coming out uh, i mean blue bats forever you know we were we were gonna do it <laughs> we were gonna do that it just happened at, like such an awkward time because both me and Stemister got sick at the same time. Yeah, it was like, it's just about sadly. We, we just we, we just rather like regroup when we can all. Blue bats till I die. Blue bats till I die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I I still have not changed my faction to anything other. Yeah, I was blue bats, but I, but I changed no it intention. to purple pandas. I don't really what? Know. Whoa! I don't know. I changed it to purple pandas because like uh I think it was oh because I signed up to MCC Rising Two as like purple powerpoints and then I just stuck with purple and I ended up actually prestiging purple as well. So I'm sorry, Goma. Don't worry, you're, I'm still a big you're fan. On, you're on the nice. Okay, this podcast isn't being uploaded. We've just wasted over an hour. <laughs> no, no, I take it. Back, well I take done, it back, I take it back. No, too late. Too late, <laughs> no. too late. Put me in a 100 days video and I'll think about it, all right? <laughs> all right, all right. You're going to be the next villain. Let's go. <laughs> Imagine that, just a pod, like a mic, like literal MIC mic <laughs> villain. Just That's like, funny. it creates loud noises. I don't know. Okay, right. This is why I don't make the videos and you do. And with that being said, then, if there is, a, if there's anything else that we haven't covered that you'd like to talk about, then let me know. But if not, then we'll move into the Twitter questions. Uh... 
uh, that's uh, ready for for the 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 bird. Yeah. Speaking of birds, the first Twitter question comes from Newt. Can you no, please no, ask Garmel what <laughs> no, bird he no, identifies Newt. as no, the most? No, 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 Newt. For the context, he has been constantly asking me that question, and I give answers. I'd be like, "Hey, man, this bird is awesome." Every video, every okay, well, not every video, but every Q and A video, he's like, "Hey, Golmo, what what's your favorite bird? What is it? What is it, Pumpkin Man? Which one?" Well, you have to pick from this screenshot right here. The oh new is given us. So. All right, all right, all right. You're the one I'll who said choose. bird. You brought this upon yourself. I'll choose. Oh my god. <laughs> this is for uh, you, new. Uh, aerial fishing because something about going out of the sky and like diving and freaking. That's how you get your food. That's pretty epic, in my opinion. Yeah, is that how you get your food as well, dude? Right I'm right like, now. I'm an animal. Actually, you're a pumpkin. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I, I was gonna ask vegetables one, but you've already answered that. Anyways, we had a podcast about who's uh, helped you the most behind the scenes. I mean, you've said the same two names Ooh. a lot of the time in this podcast. So, uh, well, I haven't, I haven't really mentioned Ollie. Ollie, like the... Ollie, Ollie Knighton. Okay. Ollie Knight. I don't think I had. I, I would say like, um, like I mean, it's technically three. I mean, Andrew, uh, Ollie, and Neb are probably like the three most important uh, people. Like Neb, obviously, he makes my thumbnails. Uh, I met him through Rise. What Nebula Minecraft? Uh, Nebula Minecraft. No, dude. What, Nebula Minecraft was on the podcast as well it's crazy he was yeah and he's he's been really cool and ollie who i i i haven't talked to about ollie that much publicly and ollie's the man he every time uh, for, every time you see some like another character in my 100 days videos that is ollie okay so he's basically he he like just chills in vc for me with me for like 12 hours while we record our videos and he just helps with scenes basically oh. and he's also made a ton of plugins so like uh my 100 days as a ninja if you if anyone who's watch that remember like the there's like leggings i think that like make you crouch and like you go invisible he coded like all of that pretty That's much cool. so he's yeah he's a legend and i've promised him a waffle maker if i have a video that gets to a million views. well you that's should our, make the agreement i reckon and you owe me a waffle mate i don't actually like waffles but you owe me one as well this is it if you ever make a 100 days no 100 players simulate 100 days in hardcore minecraft i guess one that million views so cool that would be such a cool video idea do i it. want it i want it i, I want do it. I, i'll try do it i'll try my best you have to do it I'll before try. the podcast comes out otherwise someone's gonna sit oh my god i'll speed run speed run mcsr no way go in like the hyperbolic time chamber and like work 50 times faster <laughs> It'll be awesome. Uh, and then the final question comes from Taran, Mike Wazowski. Favorite Hunter x Hunter character, and why is it stick dinner? I mean, he's a legend. I mean, just look at the guy. I don't, I don't he's know awesome. anime. This is anime, right? He's he's stick dinner. Is this anime? What more do you need? Yes. I've never watched anime. He's the best anime character. He's the most powerful character in Hunter. My favorite anime character is Lightning McQueen. Ah, uh, that's a pretty good. One. Yeah, exactly. So. Okay, why, why, but why is it? I don't get. It. Sorry. So wait. He's, so he's, is it he's, actually? He's just, is it actually he's just, them? <laughs> he's just a random side character in Hunter Hunter. And is he <laughs> actually your favorite funny. character or no? Sure, sure. <laughs> Who's your he's actual favorite dinner. character then? He's Stick Dinner. Oh, he actually he's is. He's Stick Dinner. Yes. Oh, I thought you were joking. I stand Stick Dinner. Yeah. No, because I I see this is this is this question isn't too good for me because I actually don't I don't know it. You know what I mean? Like I oh, asked you gotta it, watch Hunter Hunter. I can't build on this because no, I'm not going to. I'm too busy. I I can't dude, build dude, on this gotta, because I have no clue. You're not a real Hunter Hunter fan if you haven't watched it 57 times. Okay. Either that's that or, not, or just... I sadly work. <laughs> You're just not a real fan, man. I hate to tell you. My bad, Garmel, please. I'm so sorry. Will you ever forgive me? I'll try. Thank you. With that being said then, Garmel, this sadly brings the end of the Inside MC Pod. Don't cry. I know. No, I'm it's sad. Try, try. But this sadly brings the end of the Inside MC Podcast. Uh, However. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Before I do the outro, I always like to give this opportunity for the guests to promote themselves. Where can we find you? Your name's in the title. It's always going to be in the title, oh. and I'll put a bit in the description as well. But where can we find you? Where, where is your out on, on Twitter or YouTube All or right. Twitch or, or what's the other one that you what's the what's the other version of Discord that you were talking about earlier? Um, uh, Telegram. Telegram. Yeah. Telegram. Maybe maybe not Telegram. Maybe not Telegram. But, okay. Right, yeah. Uh, just promote tele- whatever you want, I'm, wherever you feel like. I'm I'm pretty much everywhere uh, at GoalML. YouTube.com forward slash c forward slash golemel my twitter is at golemel uh my tiktok i don't really use tiktok anymore but that's at golemel same for my uh my twitch and everything i don't think i have a social media that is not at golemel could be wrong though but i don't think that is the case. oh i have a and question knew- yeah what's the law behind what a fantastic i completely agree with this <laughs> 
<laughs> there is no lore. It's so just why'd something you say I thought it? would be funny. It's uh, funny. I guess it's like it's when strange. I say don't eat too much bread. It's just it was well, a fantastic tweet, and it's applicable to literally everything. Wait, can you can you say the lines? So I can put this in the highlights. What, what a fantastic, fantastic podcast! Wait. I completely agree with this. <laughs> what a fantastic podcast! I completely agree with it. Yeah, he said the line. He said the I line. I said the line. No shot. Oh my god. Well, Gomel. Sorry. Yes, I, I, as you were promoting yourself. My bad. <laughs> no, that's pretty much it. Uh, YouTube uh, is the platform that I I mean. I I occasionally stream on twitch uh but that but not that very often i i kind of i kind of use twitter not really i've, I've been kind of taking a break from it kind of not i've been trying to but i mean i am at goal Mel, if you do want to follow me so that would be pretty epic okay well then Gomel, thank you so much you've been an absolutely amazing guest and i'm glad after four me. or five months of inviting you well i invited you on like four months ago so i'm glad i finally actually brought you on which is my fault you weren't the one who postponed i was the one who postponed and i apologize for that <laughs> no but worries, this brings man. the end of inside mc i'm gonna go have my dinner my mom messaged me half an hour ago saying it's ready it's normally done in about 10 minutes but it's been made earlier today and i'm gonna pre prep for jet cast game nights and I, I know you're off to do something busy so i hope you enjoy Let's the rest go. of your day and your holiday i mean we're recording this before christmas it won't i'm not gonna say merry christmas cause it wouldn't make much sense for the viewer listening to this in january but you know happy new year happy yeah i hope you all had a good new year this is the this is the first is it the first podcast no it's the second podcast of 2024 so there we go this has been inside mc talking to the amazing fantastic i completely agree with this goat mail stay safe don't eat too much bread pieces Ooh.